process that you and your teammates are going through to get to know each other better. What pleased you the most about tonight's game? Uh, just effort. I think it was a bounce back game where uh, we just played harder, played better, and that led to uh, easier opportunities and for us to play a more open game. So you can see down the road how much better this team can get. Yeah, I mean we have a lot of talented guys still working out the kinks, but we have a lot of lot of lot of talented guys where we can just put the pieces together. We'd be good. Uh, it just opens everything up, you know. Um, he draws so much attention and. And on the on the offensive end, you know, if he kicks the ball out, and with the shooters that we have, with the other guys that we have, it makes us better. I thought we just played well on both ends of the floor. Um, offensive, defensively, we made some adjustments after the first quarter. We was able to communicate on the defensive end, and we were able to knock down shots on the offensive end. Luke, you had a career high five today. Can you play with him? In I mean, he still has potential, you know, so tonight is great for him, happy for him. Hopefully it's a building block where it leads to confidence and it leads him to do that every night for us. But that was, it's a great start. Yeah, I mean, every it's we, all we're looking for is wins, and then we hopefully we watch the film and we see some things that we can get better at, and the progress comes with that. Opens it up for everybody. I think I think it just showed. It, you know, it, it made everything smoother. Um, he spaces the floor. You can't really help off of him, and we can have him on the floor, have another shooter on the floor. So it was good for him to knock down shots early on, and get us going. When did he do that? He was on point in the fourth quarter. Um, no, a lot of the times when he's when he has the ball in it, it's really an action for me to set a screen for him. I'm in the action, so I don't really run corner to corner when he has the ball. But anytime the ball is in his hands, you know he's a dangerous player on the offensive end, and we just got to play off of him when he has. It's business as usual. I mean, averaging twenty some points still, so. I don't know where the the things coming in is like I supposed to play different, you know. We all have to be ourselves in order for us to be a successful basketball team, you know. So um, at this point it hadn't changed for me. Um, who knows what it's gonna take down the line for us to continue to get wins. That's the only thing that matters for real. Is it kind of special that you guys are able to sort of hold who you are yourself? Yeah, I just think we have a we have a pretty understanding group of guys where, that know what it takes for us to be successful and what they need to do individually. And um, we don't really have a lot of guys that kind of swerve out of their lanes. You know, if guys are out there for energy, you know, Pat Beverly's not going to take 15, 20 shots tonight. That's not what he's here for us, for us to do. He creates energy um, and creates stops on the defensive end. And so we just have everybody that has a clear understanding of what they bring to the table and do it at a high level. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's a problem. You know, it's a problem when you have guys that's doing things outside of what they're supposed to be doing. You know, it, it just messes up the, the chemistry of the team. You know, so it's great to kind of have that understanding and then at the same time still trying to figure each other out on a positive low. Thank you. Cool.